Are you a filmmaker entrepreneur? Are you still trying to figure out how to distribute your film and asking yourself which media platforms should you focus on? This video will give you some key reasons why YouTube is a platform filmmakers should be using today. To do that, let's learn a little bit more on how YouTube is growing as a company. Like, subscribe, you know what to do. Google confirmed that its Q4 2016 net income rose over 25% to $5.06 billion year on year. RBC Capital analyst Mark Mahaney estimates the video platform's annual revenue has now reached $10 billion and it's increasing by as much as 40% a year. This growth makes YouTube one of the strongest assets fundamentally on the internet today. Please understand that I'm not just talking about filmmakers at the moment. Research says that online traffic will consist of about 75% of video in 2020. That's powerful information to start digesting today. YouTube's blog announced back in 2013 that YouTube now has more than a billion unique users every single month. That information now is four years old. In the last 365 days, 53.5 million accounts uploaded 518 million videos on YouTube. And these videos got 2 trillion with a T views and 35.9 billion with a B engagements over the period of time. Those numbers give me goosebumps. Now, how does this information help you, the filmmaker? Show your film to a billion people. The YouTube video with the most views in the last 365 days is Fifth Harmony's work from home music video. It's 2017 and the video has over 1 billion views. Can you wrap your head around the idea of a billion people watching your film? That is not easily scalable, even with traditional distribution, but we live in such an amazing time for independent filmmakers. Why should filmmakers use YouTube? The company Ericsson interviewed 30,000 individuals in more than 20 countries and says the study statistically represents the views of 1.1 billion people, which is more than a third of the 3 billion global internet users. Whew. Some of the key findings in Ericsson's studies. YouTube reaches more 18 to 49 year olds than any US cable network. More than half of YouTube views come from mobile devices. And on mobile, the average viewing session on YouTube is now more than 40 minutes. In case you didn't catch the last one, it means the average person on YouTube would be willing to stick around long enough to watch a feature Film. The little video sharing site that Google acquired in November 2006 has come a long way in the last 11 years. The company continues to grow and it's worth paying attention to if we are self distributing our films. That's it. I hope this information helped you decide whether you should be using YouTube as a filmmaker. Have you started your own YouTube filmmaker channel yet? I'd love to check it out. Let me know the name in the comments below. We're continuing to navigate what it means to tell our story and reach the masses. Join me on this journey to learn the power of storytelling to drive success, growth, and influence. See you next week.